The Fed, as we go into this next CPI print and the FOMC statement today, is going to look at the stock market, hmm, basically at 52-week highs. Housing, nearing all-time highs. Oil and gas, 52-week highs. Um, food and energy, or essentially the food component. We looked at the DBA, the ETF for agriculture, 52-week highs. Can they all of a sudden go dovish? I'm going to say no. So today, 25 basis points, and I would expect the Fed to remain hawkish. Now, will the market sell off on this? Well, history shows us that in general, initially, the market does sell off. But then Jerome Powell comes out in his press conference at 2.30 and massages people. He, they, he kind of, he has this tendency to be very relaxed. And it oftentimes gives the market a float back up. And so what I would say is this, is that inflation will remain a little elevated, okay, and potentially upticking. But again, I wouldn't expect today a massive sell-off. Maybe a small down day, maybe a mid-level down day, maybe flat. But ultimately, it's more about this next thing that I'm going to mention. It's all about jobs. All right, we've heard that statement before. It's all about jobs, all about employment. As long as employment stays strong, which it has so far, then I don't think the selling in the market is going to be massive at this point. Once you see a crack in the employment, when people start to lose their jobs, then all the other weak factors, the economic data, we've seen productivity numbers collapse, retail sales starting to come in less than expected, everything but consumer confidence. Now, consumer confidence yesterday came in big, but again, that's directly related to the stock market. People see the stock market, they see their 401ks doing well, they say, this is great. So the bottom line again is that at this stage, watch the jobs numbers. All right, now again, 